Welcome back to Sporto Channel. I'm the CCI tutor from Sporto. And this channel let created by Sporto to share about the latest news on network project management and cybersecurity news, trains and exam tips. I really appreciate if you can subscribe our channel and give me a sign up to a video which allows my video reach out to more people just like you. So pursue a career in networking and computing often requires individual to obtain licensing or certifications when seeking a position. For example, the Cisco certified Net in Network Expert Certification may help networking professionals improve their abilities and learn more about their field. Cisco alone offers several different CCIE certifications depending on your professional interest and abilities. So, choosing wisely is one of the more difficult but important decision you can make for your technology career. So, you can see this is my CCIE number. You can see it. Okay. <laughs> so, in today's episode, I'm going to share with which CCIE pass should you take. In this video, I will cover the overview of CCIE certification and which pass should you take. So, the part one is about the overview of CCIE certification. Cisco Certified Internet Work Expert is Cisco's most prestigious and difficult certification to get. Usually, you need years of experience in the field and a deep understanding of networking technologies to get this certification. The lab portion of the exam takes 8 hours and costs $1,600. Most candidates spend much more than that on prep courses, but people who have the expert level CCIE networking certification are in high demand and their salaries are much higher because of it. Robert had technology, a staffing firm, surveyed more than 3,000 senior managers for its annual salary guide. They found that the CCIE is one of the top 10 technology certification that employees want. There are six main CCIE concentrations. Number one, CCIE Enterprise Infrastructure. The CCIE Enterprise Infrastructure Certification is designed to demonstrate expert level skills with complex enterprise infrastructure solutions. The qualifying exam Focus on knowledge of enterprise infrastructure, including geostatic architecture, virtualization, infrastructure, network assurance, security, and automation. And number two is CCIE security. The CCIE security certification is designed to demonstrate expert level skills with complex security solutions. The qualifying exam focuses on storage of security infrastructure, including network security, in cloud security, content security, endpoint protection and detection, secure network access with ability and enforcement. And number three is CCIE Service Provider. 
the CCIA service provider certification is denied to demonstrate expert level skills with complex service provider solutions. The qualifying exam focuses on the knowledge of service provider infrastructure, including core arch architecture, service, networking automation, quali quality of service, security, and network assurance. Number four is CCIE Data Center. The CCIE Data Center certification is designed to demonstrate expert level skills with complex data center solutions. The qualifying exam focuses on knowledge of data center infrastructure, including network compute, storage network, automation and security and number five is ccie collaboration the ccie collaboration certification is designed to demonstrate expert level skills with complex collaboration solutions the qualifying exam focuses on knowledge of collaboration solution, including infrastructure and design, protocols and codex and endpoint, Cisco LS XE gateway and media resources, core control QRS and collaboration applicant. So, number six is CCIE Enterprise Wireless. The CCIE Enterprise Wireless certification is designed to demonstrate expert level skills, skills with complex enterprise wireless solutions. The qualifying exam is the same as that for CCIE Enterprise infrastructure and focuses on knowledge of enterprise infrastructure including geostatic architecture virtualization infrastructure network assurance security and automation so the part one is about which CCIE pass should you take? Or CCIE, you can take your place as a technical leader. So, which CCIE pass should you take? As I talked in the first part, CCIE technology area include enterprise infrastructure, data center, service provider, enterprise wireless security collaborations among all the ccie certifications ccie enterprise infrastructure and ccie security are the most demand check the ccie enterprise infrastructure certification is the highest level certification in the enterprise domain. It provides knowledge of network design that assist engineers in validating their ability to design network infrastructures and the services that are beneficial to both business and organizations. However, when choosing the CCI path, you should answer this a question. What do I want to accomplish? Is your, your limited certification goal to make more money? Is it to advance in your profession? Maybe you just want to learn a new skill? You shouldn't start evaluating your options before you have a definitive answer so 
if you want to establish yourself as a subject matter expert, get certified in what you have experienced. It's, it's a great way to showcase your value to an organization because few others will be certified in this area. So, if you are focused on career profession, refreshing your teach skill is a must. Get certified new or recently update technology. Additional certifications are often required to advance into new job role. Just make sure your choice aligns with your career path. So, if you want to prepare and pass CCIE in the first try, get a real Cisco CCIE Lab Real Workbook, Solutions, and Training from Sporto. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you so much for your time in watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe on our channel and share my videos with your friends. If you need my help, you can reach me on the WhatsApp via the link on the description section. Bye-bye. See you next time.